Today we are exploring the, what was the name of this trail? Stefan? Stefan Trail. I don't know if I'm going to do much recording. I didn't get hardly any sleep last night. I'm really, really, really tired. But check out this really weird parking lot. So you turn onto Strubble Road. That's the road right there. Here goes somebody. Okay, that's the road right there. And this is the parking lot. That's the sweetie pie. And the puppy dog. And look at all the wood debris. I got some stone, whatever you call this stuff. Look at all the wood debris here. I'll just pile up the edge of the parking lot. It's <laughs> crazy. Uh, well, let's go check out this trail. We actually have to enter the trail right over there across the road. I love the pine trees. If it wasn't so close to the road, it'd be a nice spot to just hang out. Over there. Yeah, I saw that. Hmm, what was it at one time? Huh. I don't know. Maybe well. Maybe. There's the sign. Everybody ready? Come on, you silly girl. Well, so far, I like it. It's a lot of pine needles on the ground. It's cool. This is an example of a very informative kiosk. We saw a bear today. Well, the pine went away and it opened up a little bit. Um, it's really, it runs, the road is really close by and it's a pretty trail, but the whole time so far we've been hearing traffic noise, which kind of stinks. It's a little rocky, but not too bad. Relatively easy. So with all the rain and snow melting, this is the trail. It's a little stream. All the way up. Yep, that's the trail. Yep. That's not a nearby stream. That is the trail. It's a stream trail. So this section gets very rocky, very Appalachian Trail like. Lots of rocks of rocks. So we came up and up and up. And it looks like it might be leveling off a little bit finally. Look at all the snow. All sticks must die.
somebody's dinner table. Alright, it started going up again, but it looks like it's leveling out again. And the pine trees are coming back. That's awesome. Pine trees make every hike better. Watch out for those rocks. So the trail meets up with this fire road here and goes up the fire road. So let's go check it out. Looks like we're heading back towards the pines again. Awesome. It's a sweetie pie! <laughs> I'm gonna have to find out if mountain bikes are allowed on this trail. But I don't want to go up that rocky hill. I want to find out where the other end of this fire road goes to. The end of the Sefton Trail, and this is the Red Maple Trail. Red Maple Trail goes that away and that away. Interesting. Hmm. Well, we did a little bit of the Red Maple Trail. Now we're heading back. So it's an out and back. I'm not recording going back because I just want to enjoy the trail without uh, worrying about videoing. Sometimes I like to just share my adventures with the hubby and not with the rest of the world. But have a great day. Be blessed. Go play with your dog. And enjoy a little bit of the gifts of nature it's God, that God has blessed us with. It was a good hike. We enjoyed it. Um, a little over four miles round trip and we ended just in time because look at this it's raining or like we call it it's sparkling out as soon as we got in the car it started to rain so that was perfect timing and look at what we got for the after hike food wait till you see this Look at that thread. Wow. Look at that. I think you can see the bottom of it. Look at that. Look at, see that? Look at how fat this is. 
Woo-wee. It's turkey and provolone on this multi whole grain bread with mayonnaise, lettuce, onion, and cucumber. And this is why she begs when we're eating. <laughs> and just for those of you that are worried that she's safe, she is buckled in. She is seat belted in in the back, but we give her enough room where she can beg a little bit. She begs because we feed her while we're eating. Naughty dog. Actually, no, not naughty dog. Naughty owners. <laughs> but if we say to her, Cookie, where are you supposed to be? Where are you supposed to be? sits down there and waits. What a good dog. What a good dog. Can I give him something? <laughs>